In order to use your financial planner, you will need a note annotation app. For iOS users, I do recommend GoodNotes. That's what I use mostly, but there are other options for other devices. You have Notability, you have Note Shelf, you have Zudu. So here's some options that you can choose from. Um, when you're ready to import, GoodNotes does have its own separate files on your dashboard, but here's your dashboard where you can watch um, a walkthrough. So this is for GoodNotes users, for all other um, apps. You also have the transaction tracker and your digital stickers. So for GoodNotes users, pick dated or undated and Monday or Sunday start. And then you can pick which one you want to download. Um, this will take you to Dropbox. You do not need a Dropbox account in order to download your planner. Um, so you'll go through the process of clicking on it and then you will go directly with your share into GoodNotes and you're going to want to import this as a new document. Now something to remember is in order for your hyperlinks to work, you have to be in reading mode so as you can see it's working editing mode your hyperlinks do not work unless you use your lasso tool and you hold down and you can click open link but that is the only way for all other apps you're going to want to download the regular pdfs again you pick if you want it dated or undated and then you can pick um, sunday or Monday start depending on um, which one you prefer. This will also take you to Dropbox where you will go through the download process like when you were using um, GoodNotes. You're going to want to click on the file and using your share icon you can pick which um, app you want to put it in you can also get to it by going into your downloads wherever they might be. And so again, go ahead and click on the share icon and open it where you would like. For Notability, it'll ask you to create a new note. So you'll just walk through the process. Now when you go to Notability, you will see that your file is there for you to use. You also have the option for Note Shelf. You can add it directly from Note Shelf, or you can also do it from where you had the downloads earlier, but it's all a pretty straightforward process. That's one of the things I like about digital planning. A lot of it is still quite similar. For your stickers, you'll go ahead and click on your digital stickers. Again, if you are using GoodNotes, you do have a GoodNotes file and you have your individual PNGs and your GoodNotes elements. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to download these files from Dropbox. And these will all go into wherever my downloads are. Um, even though I'm not really going to use the individual stickers, I just want to show you how to do it here. So your GoodNotes elements will download as one file, even though it has separate ones, and you'll just be able to click on them. So if I click on my sticker book, I can go directly into Dropbox, import it as a new document, and it's all hyperlinked. You can use your lasso tool to copy and paste, and then just paste it into your um, planner, however you want to put it. You can also use your elements. So you'll go to your elements. You'll scooch till you see the plus sign. You'll go ahead and click on the plus. And this is just to add a new section. You go to import from. This is going to take you to your downloads. I will click here and pick which file I want and that is them downloaded into your um, 
element. So, so you'll just press create and you'll be able to see them pop up and click on whichever one you want to use. You can put them all in there. Just put one. You can use um, split screen with the other apps and where I have the stickers downloaded, I'm just going to tap on the file and I'm going to choose my stickers of choice and I'm just going to tap and hold and drag it on over and this works for all the other apps. You can also put them in your images and you can use it there if you don't want to keep it in your file. The transaction tracker I really love because you can use this on your phone for when you are out and about to put in any transactions that you have. And most apps use like the cloud. So whatever you put in on your phone will then be on your tablet. So when you go to your app, it will automatically be there. So again, this is a new document. So it looks tiny, but there's a reason why. Use this split screen button here. And I can scooch this over. Just gonna put this in reading mode. You can put in your transactions. You have um, all 12 months and then each month has five different pages. Um, when you write in whatever transactions you have, you can add them all up and put them directly into your expenses or your bills. It's side by side so you don't have to flip back and forth. 